Fat man in a little boat. Fat man in a little boat. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, what it's about to go down today. Uh, I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. First time on the solo skiff. Carlos, you know Carlos from Bass Brothers, he's the one holding the camera right now. He was gracious enough and foolishly trusting enough to loan me the solo skiff today. We're here in Falcon Dam and uh, I'm gonna give it a try, man. So hopefully I don't make a bumbling pool out of myself, <laughs> which is like the norm around here anyway, but I'm gonna give it a try. And it doesn't count if you're not recording. So here we go. My first time. And by the way, I've never even been on a canoe. I've never been on anything. I've never navigated a boat. So uh, this is uh, gonna be interesting. Uh, at 1047, the boat around. Oh, okay. Sí, pero parece que no estaba conectado all the way the, the microphone adapter. Oh, okay. Guys, out here at Falcon Dam, I am trying something totally new. Remember, it's always get up, get out, do something. Well, this fool decided to come out to Falcon Dam with the blessing of Carlos Lopez over there from Bass Brothers. I don't even know if we can see him over there. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's showing off his skills. Carlos is showing off his skills uh, as he's casting out here, having fun with me. Guys, I'll be lying if I tell you I'm not nervous, man. I am, uh, I've never even been on a canoe. I've barely been on a boat, you know, and now I'm out here in this uh, solo skiff. Um, which I've been watching the videos. I saw some of the videos from Carlos and man, they just look like freedom. It looks so cool. Uh, so I was like, man, I wonder what it is. I wonder if I could handle something like this. So came out here to give it a try. I'm not gonna be doing anything stupid, anything crazy, because like I said, this is the first time I ever do this, but um, I'm, I've never even been on a kayak. So I, I don't know, let's see what happens. I am recording, so let's see if I don't lose my balance and nothing terrible happens. Here we go. little winded right now it's been an adventure uh, talk about a learning curve I don't know anything about this stuff so I just had a little episode where uh, I couldn't get the engine started I couldn't get the motor started and uh, I was trying all sorts of stuff you know from um, you know I don't know trying to lift it I, I, I was like maybe I have it and I don't have it in neutral <coughs> it was something as simple as I was just too shallow you know at that point but there's so many points I didn't, I didn't know how to raise how to raise the outboard uh, I forgot to ask Carlos Carlos didn't mention it either but I felt you know what this is a uh, this is I guess something that I have to learn for myself I can't be depending on Carlos for everything and uh, you know that's why there's YouTube tutorials and all that stuff but <clears throat> I've been out here on my own pretty much just trying to trying to get my bearings um, with with get familiar with the solo skiff. I will say this: I've been feeling a lot more confident, way more confident. I was concentrating on other stupid stuff like the cameras, and I'm just so used to getting everything on video, and that was that was a mistake on my part. I should not be doing that. <sighs> One major thing, I don't know if you've noticed it already, I'm sure you're gonna comment on this, but where's my uh, personal flotation device? I completely forgot it. So I've been trying to stay kind of like near the edge 
and not risk it, you know, because that was my big mistake. Once again, new guy here, and that'll never happen again. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. That was a that was a stupid mistake. I'm a strong swimmer, but that, that has nothing to do with anything. I mean, it's this is not a swimming pool, right? You know, I mean, there's currents, there's all sorts of stuff out here, and it's just dumb, you know? It's just dumb. Uh, I am wearing this, this lanyard right here that's attached to the uh, outboard just in case I do fall out, you know, if I, I, I fall I fall out of the boat, you know, at least the engine will immediately stop and I have some sort of chance to get back on the boat or actually, you know, do something uh, along those lines. So anyway, now that I figured out how to raise the outboard, now that I figured out how to lower the outboard, how to turn it on properly, uh, all of these things, and of course, even how to paddle correctly because I don't even know that. I've just seen it in the movies, you know? It's just stuff that I think it's the way, I mean, it makes sense to me. I mean, if you want to turn right, you know, you're going to paddle more on the left side, or, you know, and I probably, I, I don't even know the, the nautical terminology of starboard and port and all that crap. I'm extremely ignorant. But then again, this is why, this is why we have this channel. Get up, get out, do something, right? This is about learning, and if you have something to say, something to comment, and you're like, hey Rob, maybe you should try this, you should try that, or any videos that you want to share with me, please go go ahead and, and, and share them with me. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much. But anyway, I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing here, and I'm gonna put the camera down, and I'm just gonna try to enjoy the day. Maybe even try to actually fish. I did bring one rod, I don't even know what I'm doing, but hey, you know, whatever. I'm probably gonna get skunked, but that's not the point. The point of this trip was to come out here <clears throat> and enjoy myself and uh, get to learn this thing because I really, really like this thing. Uh, I really like it. And here's something to prove, guys. If you're straight off the couch like me, okay? You're straight off, <laughs> you know, from uh, uh, from the office and, and, and you, don't, you don't know anything about this stuff, if I can do it, you can do it. So, you know, hey, I hope that this serves as inspiration for someone out there that it's never too late. You can still do this. It can be done, all right? Okay. So peaceful. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I might have to... Uh, change my whole perspective when it comes to winter time and the outdoors maybe who knows maybe coastal GX will turn its his sights to to the Falcon Dam Falcon State Park okay guys well here I am standing up and uh, it was shallow super shallow over there and the outboard was down so obviously the prop was touching the sand and uh it was kind of tough to kind of kick off from there but what i did is you know i got my fat butt out of that chair and i moved towards the front and uh there we go there we go getting a little more confident here until i fall in the water and i pushed away from shore so now I can go ahead and turn on the outboard and get moving. So the way Carlos has it set up here, he's, uh, well, you know, part of it was already from Cast and Blast. Cast and Blast has his own channel. Uh, Carlos has his own channel. You should check him out, Bass Brothers Fishing. Cast and Blast, also a nice guy. He's got his own channel as well. If you like the pew-pews and the that's your man right there out of Port Mansfield. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so this is what he's got. It's a six horsepower uh, Tohatsu outboard. Um, this Millennium Marine uh, chair right here. And uh, I know he's got some rails and some other stuff that I don't even know what the hell they are. You know, I'm going to be uh, uh, looking into that and maybe 
giving you a better explanation. Um, but anyway, he's got these really cool rod holders over here. Uh, as you can see, of course, once again, since I didn't come here prepared uh, for anything else except for exploring with this thing and, and just uh, taking it out for a spin and testing it, uh, I only brought one rod, uh, but it certainly has enough for more if I already had wanted to try different things and have them have each one of them ready for whatever. Um, we couldn't find the original um, rope, so we improvised this morning, and Carlos brought this uh, this one right here. It's doing the job, everything's fine. In here, right here in this uh, little compartment, uh, I put some ice in there, got some water, some stuff, but uh, if I was to catch a fish, I guess I could put it in there, but this is a cooler right here. It's pretty neat. It's got another hatch over here in the front. I guess, you know, it's already prepared if you wanted to go ahead and and, um, and cut this part out and maybe even attach a, an additional uh, an additional latch, a little uh, hatch right here. Sorry, not latch, hatch. And uh, where you can store more stuff in there. Okay, guys, this, this is how unprepared I am. I this is my idea of a wacky rig. I don't know if this shit's going to happen or not, but this is what I'm using. And of course, a circle hook from because all I do is salt water. So, eh, whatever. It's going in the water. Okay, that's my idea of a wacky rig. I don't know, but let's give that a try. We're just going to cast it over here over this way guys it is amazing man I love this thing I absolutely love this thing I see myself owning one of these things soon I hope I just see so many possibilities uh, there's so much you can do with this thing it's very versatile uh, it's, it's easy to carry around. I was towing it all the way from McAllen all the way down to, uh, to uh, Falcon Lake here. No big deal. I didn't even see a difference on my, uh, on my um, gas mileage. Of course, you know, that GX460 Sandy just loves to chug it. And uh, so it's already bad enough as it is. But I didn't see anything that was extraordinary, uh, extraordinary, uh, 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 worse than the typical mileage that you get when you're just driving around town. Um, uh, out here, I can, you know, you, I, I've been in three inches of water, no big deal. This thing floats in the skinniest and the shallowest of places. It's very easy to move around. It's fast enough for me. Uh, obviously, it doesn't compete with these badass boats that I see out here, uh, but man uh for me for me I, I think this is gonna be a great fit if you guys love kayaking and, and you want to look into this I'm, I'm you know i'll put something in the description i guess i can uh, send you guys to that solo skip webpage. uh but there's plenty of youtubers out there that have already done stuff with the uh, solo skiff uh i think it's kagan fishing that's one of them and then there's the other uh competitor of the solo skiff which is the boat rover everybody knows the god the youtube god they are, you know who i'm talking about thresher fishing man good god and rx angler as well those guys are awesome follow them i'll i'll leave the links i mean it's easy to find those guys anyway i'm sure you probably already follow them if you're following this channel you already follow those guys anyway but i will say this this is such an easy thing to uh use i mean it's so easy um i can see myself camping out out here setting up a tent just you know roughing it out a little bit and then launching from here man it's so it's so awesome i will however i did try to fly the drone uh you know for me because i don't have a proper launching pad and i still don't feel very comfortable I don't feel very comfortable um, 
moving around this thing uh but as you can see i am standing on it guys i don't have to tell you it's not like the camera adds a hundred pounds okay big boy over here and if big boy over here can do this number you know if i can move around and do this sort of stuff you, you know you guys are going to be okay i came out here and man it was a blast uh so now after trying it out after uh pretty much you know trying to explore a little bit with it and and take it out for a spin and uh do a little fishing with it or do a little fishing it's more like i was casting a rod but I, yeah i don't know what the hell i'm doing man I, I don't know anything about this or that but i still had fun you know i there was a part there where i was i had to find things out for the hard you know the hard way because i didn't know how to lift the, the outboard uh i learned a bunch of things today that i didn't know and uh I don't know, man. I, I think I think I might be pulling the trigger on one of these things. Uh, it's really tempting. I, I, I see a lot of opportunities with these uh, solo skiffs, these uh, micro skiffs. Um, if you can't afford a boat or a boat is a little too much for you and uh, you want something a little more compact, something that's probably easier on your vehicle, um, low maintenance, and of course, cheaper, a lot cheaper than the boat. Uh, this is probably the way to go. Um, you guys are welcome to check out Solo Skiff's uh, website. I'm gonna leave it in the description. Uh, if you guys wanna learn a little bit more about them. But anyway, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Would you get a Solo Skiff, a John boat, or you know, just save up your money and get a regular shallow sport or something you know better something cooler like that um why do you think uh you should go with a micro skiff over a uh, kayak perhaps you know for me i know i, I want to get to the shallow part so this to me I, I think it works i think it works perfectly i was very comfortable on it it was very stable um i never had any oh shoot moments uh so I, i'm happy i'm happy i, I think I gotta discuss it with wifey and I don't know I might I might be next time you see me I might I might be rolling with one of these things guys like share subscribe I really appreciate what you guys do for the channel thank you so much for your loyalty and your uh, support